Hey everyone, and welcome back for another episode of Yoga Anywhere. I'm so excited that you've decided to join me for this episode and for this yoga practice. So today I'm joining you from beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. This is my new apartment for the next couple of weeks here. So hopefully you'll be getting lots of video content from this space. And this is the first time I've practiced here. I've only been here for a couple of days and I'm super excited to share that practice with you guys today. So basically we're just gonna do a little flow. There's gonna be some strength. There's gonna be you know, some more stretchy pieces to it and just sort of a standard quick flow that's great for morning, afternoon, evening, something to start your weekend with, just a good any time of the day yoga flow. So meet me on your mat in a comfortable seated position and we'll just start just like this. As you arrive in your comfortable seat, allow your hands to fall onto your knees. Draw your shoulders up towards your ears and then down your back, creating a nice long spine. Close your eyes and settle in. And the first thing we're gonna do here today is just take a deep breath all together. So inhale deeply. Exhale, side up through your mouth. Once more, just like that. Inhale deeply. Exhale, side out. Really good. So allowing yourself to arrive on your mat in this place, in this moment, right now. And now continuing to watch your inhales and exhales here, allowing yourself to see how you're breathing in and out. And then deepening those inhales and exhales, taking nice deep breaths, ideally in and out through the nose if you can, if you've got allergies or a cold or something, you can breathe however works for you. But if you're feeling great today, just try and breathe in and out of the nose. And as we connect with those breaths, allow yourself to do a couple of neck circles. So drop your right ear towards your right shoulder, bring your chin towards your chest, left ear towards the left shoulder, and then back up to neutral. Continuing just like this, beginning to bring that breath to your movement. Really good. One more here. And then allowing yourself to go the other direction, left ear to left shoulder, chin towards chest, right ear towards right shoulder, and back up. Allowing yourself to find your own pace with your own breath. Stop me if you've got any places of tightness or tension. Just allowing these neck circles to be your own, and that's the same for this entire practice. This practice is really about you, not me. So if anything's not feeling right, if anything's not feeling good, if you want to modify anything, then go right ahead. One more here. And coming back to neutral. I'm just allowing that to settle in just for a second. Really good. Blinking your eyes open. And then we'll just do a little bit of seated stretching work. So bringing your right hand down towards the mat. Inhale, left arm up, and then exhale, left arm over. Coming into a nice side body stretch. Continuing to breathe nice deep inhales in and out of the body here. All right, on your next inhale, coming back to center. Bring your right arm up, left arm down, and then exhale over the other direction. Finding a nice steady gaze here. And finding a place where there's sensation, but not discomfort, not pain. And breathing into that sensation. Really good. Inhale, coming back up to center, both arms up, and then exhale, folding forward, reaching forwards here. This isn't a big stretch, just allowing yourself to come into it really naturally, allowing it to be nice and gentle. Continuing those nice deep inhales and exhales. All right, deep inhale breath. And then as you exhale, slowly coming back up. Really good. So we'll come into a nice seated twist before we get onto our hands and knees. Right hand right behind your sit bones, left hand to your right knee. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale the twist. Allow this to be nice and gentle here and allow your breath to guide you. Inhale to lengthen. And then exhale to maybe twist a little bit more. Really good. All right, inhale all together here. And as you exhale, slowly coming back to center. Really good. All right, moving into the other side. So left hand behind your sit bones, right hand to your left knee. Inhale to lengthen, and then exhale to twist. 
Once again, inhaling to lengthen, and then exhale to twist. Allow that to be your guide as you find your own place in this twist, really allowing the breath to guide the movement. Inhale all together, and then exhale, slowly releasing. Really good. Just seeing how you're feeling, you warm up the spine, and then as you're ready, meet me on all fours. Stacking wrists directly underneath shoulders, knees underneath uh, hips. On an inhale, drop your belly, reach your hips and head, cow pose. On an exhale, reversing out of that, coming into cow pose. Inhale, drop the belly, reach the hips and head, cow. Exhale, rounding down, coming into, into cat pose. One more just like that. Inhale, cow. And then exhale, coming into cat. Really good. Coming back to neutral, finding stability here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to reach our right leg long behind us. Seeing how you feel here, if you feel pretty good, reaching your left arm long. If at any point you feel like this is too much, just allow your left hand to come back down and do the exercise just like that. Keep your gaze nice and long here down towards the mat. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, draw your elbow towards your knee. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, long. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, long. Exhale, one last time, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach it nice and long. And next exhale, releasing down. Really good job. All right, we're gonna move into the other side from here. So inhale, left leg long behind you. Once again, finding that stability here and making sure that you're not dumping into your spine. You wanna have a nice long spine here, engaging the core. And then as you're ready, reaching right arm long in front of you. Once again, keeping that gaze nice and steady. Deep inhale as you exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach the long. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. One more just like that. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Reaching for one final time. And then exhale, releasing it down. Really good, great job. So from here, we're gonna come into another exercise that's sort of similar, but more for chaturanga prep. So chaturanga, if you practice quite a bit of yoga, is typical in a vinyasa. We come from our plank, we hinge at our elbows, and we hold. The thing is, is that a lot of us don't have the upper body strength to do that. So we end up dumping into our backs, we dump into our arms, we fall straight to the floor. And I want you to be somebody who's strong enough to do your chaturanga in class. So this is a really great exercise for that. So what I want you to do is extend your right leg long. And then what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna shift forward, hinge through our elbows and aim to touch our nose to the ground. If you can't, that's okay. Inhale back up and then exhale, knee to nose. It probably won't touch and that's okay. Inhale, extend the arm long, or the leg long. Exhale, hinge, knee to nose, or uh, <laughs> nose to floor. And then exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, hinge, nose to floor. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to nose. Really good, one more just like that. Extend long, exhale down. Inhale, up, knee to nose. Really good, releasing out of that, just kind of shaking it side to side, and then stretching the right leg back and just stretching into the calf. So we'll just take a nice little break here before we do the other side. Catch your breath. If you find that you're losing control of your breath, that your heart rate's increased, just taking nice deep inhales and exhales. Really good, and coming back to center and setting up for the other side. So finding that nice, stable tabletop position then reaching your left leg long. Take a deep inhale here. As you exhale, hinge and lower, nose to floor. Inhale up, exhale, knee to, knee to nose. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, lower, 
Inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to nose. One more here. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to nose. Really good. Bring it back down, rocking side to side. Stepping that left foot back and just stretching into that calf here. Great job. And then from here, what I want you to do is bring your big toes together, knees about as wide as your mat, and sink your hips back down, coming into a child's pose. Reach your arms long, bring your hands together in a prayer, and then hinge at your elbows, bringing your hands to the meat of your neck, thumbs in towards your neck. Taking nice deep inhales and exhales here. Really good. Breathing deeply. And then as you're ready, slowly releasing out of that, planting your hands, tucking your toes and coming to downward facing dog. Taking a couple of breaths here, just finding your dog, especially if it's the first one of the day, bending through one knee and then the other. And then on an inhale, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, plant your foot in between your hands. Getting nice and steady here. What I want you to do from here is plant your left hand or come up onto your left fingertips and then inhale your right arm up towards the ceiling. So coming into a nice uh, low lunge twist here. Breathing for three, two, one. Plant the right hand, step the right foot back to me into plank pose. Finding a nice, strong, long plank for three, two, one. And what we're going to do from here is come into Vashi Stasana, or a variation of it, which is side plank. Drop your left knee down. Turn your right foot out so it's 45 degrees. Get nice and strong through your left hand. And lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. And you might think that because you've got quite a bit of support here that this is pretty easy, but it does take quite a bit of balance. Find a gaze or a drishti, something you can focus on. If you feel good here, stay. If you want a little bit more, lift your right leg up. Really good. Breathing here for a couple of breaths. Great job. One more deep breath. And exhale, releasing it down. Coming to all fours. And then setting up for downward facing dog. We're doing that on the other side. So I'm actually gonna turn around so you can see me better. And then on your next inhale, what you're gonna do is lift your leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, plant your foot in between your hands, getting nice and high on those fingers, and then planting your right hand down or staying up on those fingertips, just depending on mobility. And then reach your left arm up towards the ceiling, coming into a nice twist here. Nice and strong through both your legs. Breathing here for three, two, and one. Really good, releasing down, planting both your hands, stepping back to plank. Folding plank here for three, two, one. Rocking onto the right hand, dropping the right leg down, pivoting that left foot down, and then opening your left arm up towards the ceiling. As you're ready, lifting your left leg up towards the ceiling. Breathing here for three, two, one, half, <laughs> and letting it go, coming back down to all fours. We're going to take a moment to stretch out the feet here. So all your toes are tucked under, big toes are actually touching. Allow yourself to sink back on your mat and come back as much as you can. If you've done the foot video from last week, you know what this is all about. With this, we're going to actually add the arms. So inhale, arms up towards the ceiling. Hinge at your right elbow, and then bring your left hand on top of it, and just allow your hand to fall onto your back. So we're getting like a nice little stretch on our back. I'll just show you that way. And it just kind of takes some of the distraction away from the feet. Breathing here for three, two, 
in one. Really good. Releasing down, untucking the toes, giving them a little pedal out here. And then we've got two arms, so we're going to have to do that once more. Touch your toes, sinking back. Arms up to the ceiling right away. Hinge at that left arm, right hand to your left elbow. And breathing here. Breathing here for three, two, and one. Really good. Releasing down, untapping your toes, pedaling it out, big toes touching as wide as your mat, and sinking back to a child's pose. You can just keep your arms long in front of you, or if you want to come into that prayer pose once again, you definitely can. Taking a couple of deep inhales and exhales here. All right, so you're ready, slow it coming up. Coming onto your sit bones, releasing your legs long in front of you. Flexing through your toes, inhale arms up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, folding forward. If you touch your toes, that's great. If you don't, just allow your hands to fall wherever it might be comfortable for you. It's more important to keep a nice long spine than to see curve just to touch your toes. We really want to keep the stretch in the back side of the legs as opposed to in the back. Breathing here for three, two, and one. Inhale deeply, and exhale slowly coming back up. What we're gonna do from here is bend the right leg, step it over the left, and instead of doing a twist here, we're actually going to tuck the leg like right on top of the left leg. Allow your hands to fall on your knees, take an inhale to lengthen, and then an exhale to fold. And you're gonna feel sensation kind of in the outer hip, in the legs, just depending on your body. So for me, I don't need to fold that much before I feel enough sensation to feel pretty fulfilled in this pose. So finding where your sort of edge is and breathing there. Really good. Inhale all together. Exhale, slowly coming back up, releasing the leg out, bending both the legs, and just doing a couple of windshield wipers back and forth. Really good. All right, and then extending the legs long again. Uh, left leg in, step it over, wrap it around, kind of like you're creating like a little pretzel. Hands on the knees, inhale to lengthen, and then exhale to just slowly fold. And just finding that point for yourself. Finding that edge, finding that place between pushing it into a place of pain and finding something that's got sensation. Breathing here. Inhale deeply. Exhale, slowly coming back up to center. Release the legs, just give them a little bounce. And then make your way onto your back for our final couple of postures. Hugging the knees in towards the chest, giving yourself a squeeze. Maybe you're rocking side to side. Reaching in between your knees, grab the outside knife edges of your feet, sending the bottoms of your feet up towards the ceiling for happy baby. Maybe rocking here. Really good. And then if your body's craving any last postures here, you can certainly move into them. Otherwise, we're just going to move into Shavasana. Allow your feet to be long. Allow your arms to be long and heavy. Take a couple of nice deep inhales and exhales. Releasing all the little muscles of your body here and just allowing yourself to settle in for this resting pose. You've got three to five minutes, so we definitely recommend taking it. Otherwise, just give yourself as long as you can here to really allow the practice to settle in. This is actually one of the most important parts of our yoga practice, so give yourself this time. As always, thank you so much for joining me, and namaste.